PCO, uh, October 17. Uh, it's almost a week now. It's uh, Thursday, almost a week after Bray took the, uh, the cart to Fremont and took some laps in her. We're uh, next time out. Uh, I wanted to take them back this weekend and ask the uh, ask the track owner or manager there, uh, Carson, the young guy, if he didn't mind if Braden started on the back of the kid cart class because I think he's probably more at their speed, obviously, than he is at the speed of any junior sportsman 206. Those kids, even the ones at Lansing that we saw that weren't really up to speed were quite a bit quicker than Bray. So um, we're going to do some exercise. And as we go to Grattan in two weeks to do our last, well, knock wood, God willing, uh, if we get enough people to go, um, we uh, right now we don't have enough folks. Um, I'll drive back, which is not like me. I'll drive back Saturday or as soon as we're done. <clears throat> and um, the kids will be here for the weekend. That weekend, there's a hayride at uh, Sherry's girlfriend's through the trees over here. And um, it's for the kids. So the kids will be here all weekend. Um, that's on Saturday. Sunday, I would take him. I, first, I would deglaze the rotor and the brake pads. And then take him... Uh, take him over to to the uh the east china stadium parking lot over there and do some uh, hard braking exercises straight line at first and then we'll take the advice of some other folks and put a cone and, and a U, u-turn i may even take a, a bottle of baby powder and a string and, and have bray hold the string at, at the cone in the middle of the corner the apex of the corner and uh, and just dump some baby powder in a half circle uh so he knows that's the track right now that he's been to a track uh, going back to a big asphalt jungle a uh, big patch of asphalt so you still you know he needs to understand to run down the outside of the track then turn in make the corner as big as possible all that kind of stuff first we need to teach him to, to get on the gas and stay on the gas not to let off till he needs to do braking and then you know get back off get back on the gas and get get out of there and so that's what we're going to do We'll uh, take the advice of our buddy Bob, Mr. Special K, and uh, what we'll do is um, I'll stand here as he's coming, and I'll tell him you can't let off the gas till you get to where I'm at. Then I'll put an orange cone out in front of me, maybe one on either side for, to keep him, you know, going straight through the middle. And then one at the end, and I'll leave way down there, right? And uh, he'll 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 start out letting off the gas when he comes past me and have plenty of time, easy, plenty of time. And, and then we'll get him to go around and go back. And when he's going back, I'll just take a couple steps backward. And we'll keep doing it and doing it and doing it until he starts having to really, then he'll realize, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, this is getting shorter and shorter. And I'm not going to say anything to him until we get into it. And um, if that's all we do, for an hour straight is just get him to come straight down the parking lot wide open as fast as that thing will go until he gets past to me and then hard on the brakes so he doesn't you know run into the coat stop it's like the uh the brady bunch episode where greg and marcia are trying to find out who's the better driver who can get closer to the cone with the egg on the top remember that maybe i'll bring an egg over there Bray get a kick out of that maybe we'll just put a tennis ball on top but um, that's that's what we that's what we get. That's what's next for Braden. And um, uh, not this weekend, obviously, but next weekend we would be going to Grattan if we get enough people. Um, if not, uh, then I'll be here and getting everything ready for him uh, to go out and do those those exercises. So uh, we got November. I mean, both tracks told me as long as there's no snow, they'll be open uh, to having kids come out. And the more the weather gets. 50s, upper 40s, lower 50s, the less chance there will be of competitive people being out there because they know they're not going to really learn anything. Uh, folks that are trying to go a little faster um, generally don't have to race in that kind of weather, you know, so um, that'll be cool because we really don't want a bunch of people around at first uh, while he gets up to speed. And then once he gets to zipping it around out there, um, you know, going fast down the straightaways breaking turning like like he should be eventually uh you know then we'll introduce him to the group but until then um 
you know, we got a lot to think about. Um, taking him back to the track, he's going to need a neck collar because he, we didn't have one. Yeah, he's going to need the rib protection because the faster he goes, the more he's going to he's going to get abused, right? His body. We got to get him a proper helmet, and that's not cheap either. Um, so those those couple things we need to do for Christmas, probably. <laughs> he's going to have a good and his birthday's in February, so he's going to have a good. Christmas and birthday uh, this 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 time around, with um, you know par parents are going to have to pick up uh, pick up some of this this financial burden as well. But uh, we're still shopping. We're still shopping for a 206, uh, preferably a junior sportsman package with the right slide in the car, but all that kind of stuff. But um, you know we we'd buy a 206 and have to have to put our own clutch on it, our own exhaust on it, and the right slide in the car, but all that kind of stuff, chain guard and all that. If we have to, if we get it for the right price, but um, again, we don't want to spend a fortune um, to find out May, June next year, he don't like this. Um, he's not going to pick it up because it's just not something, you know, playing around in a parking lot, it's a toy and he can, you know, go at his own leisure at his own pace. Racetrack is going to be different. He's going to have to get up to speed or he'll get run over. So. We'll see. We'll see. Um, hoping, speaking of junior sportsmen and, and uh, getting up to speed, I got a little guy and his dad that I met at Lansing. Uh, Bruce, I don't know his son's name, but we did watch them run around a little bit, talk to him and his son about the cart and about the class and about Lansing and, and all that. They, they're customers of uh, Kim and Alex at PKT. Um, he sent me a text message in, in, uh, or a, a, a message through uh, Facebook. And um, we're going to try, if they want to buy a 23 tooth uh, driver for their clutch, um, I told them you could bring the kid out. We won't charge you nothing. You, you can, we give you as many runs as we can. Um, if it's a, a bare minimum amount of people there just to pay the lease, they're not going to, they're not going to have any issue with letting a little guy, a little, little guy like that run around the big track um, two, three, four times, whatever, you know, 10, 15 minutes at a time. Uh, probably 15 because it's going to take them a while to get around every lap. And we'd have uh, somebody in a 206 that's calm, uh, like Ted Tackett or somebody, Steve Lambert, um, run around and guide him and then get behind him and follow him, get next to him and, and you know, hand gesture, you know, just help him around. Um, that would be cool. I would love to see that and see how he handles it because that's where I'm going with Bray. I'm not going to, Braden, sorry Bob, you already know this, Braden is not going to be a sprint track punk kid. He's only going to do that enough to get up to speed and get experience, get racing close with other people as soon as I can, as soon as it's possible. We're going to get him a, a, a long track cart, whether it's a CIK cart at first. Um, obviously, we want to make Braden into a laydown driver. That's right, Bob. I know it itches. It's it's like a like a like a phobia or a, it's it's like a, a um, what do you call it? An irritation of some kind. Whatever. It's like it's cancer to Bob. He's like, ah, he's killing me with this laydown thing. Well, that's who I am, and that's who Braden's gonna be if I have anything to say about it. Um, perfect world. 15 years from now, 10 years from now, Bray could be racing the, the F-125 down at Daytona and finally winning that big trophy that I've never been able to get my hands on. Uh, you never know. So that's it for the 17th. We're, uh, we got everything back in. Got the cart ready for the, uh, for the table. They're still waiting on the spindles. It's been a week uh, to get spindles here um, from Mondo. Um, we ordered a couple more of those chassis clamps too, you know, we use for, for here and here to hold that radiator in place. Uh, ordered a couple more of those to go on the back to eventually, when we get, if we ever get there, to hold our, uh, our helicopter muffler, right? Our big, uh, our big silencer on the back. So, um, still waiting on those things, man. Usually it used to be $6.99, no insurance deliver anywhere around the world and it would be on your porch in three days. Well, guess the news. Uh, not only has uh, Joe Biden ruined everything, uh, or let's not blame Joe. He's too stupid to be pulling this off on his own. 
Uh, it isn't that uh, that communist Kamala Harris either and her Marxist father. They're not running the country either. I think we all know who's pulling the strings behind behind the scenes, but uh, they're doing a good job of, of destroying our country financially, uh, uh, morally, emotionally, um, physically, you know. We're eating crap food that, that they approve through their FDA that's making us fat and sick. So uh, there you go. We're going to get these spindles here. We'll get those on. Uh, Kim said to put the axle back in, so we took everything off and got the axle bolted back down. Steering shaft, steering wheel, tie rods with, uh, with the new spindles on. And then we'll get, it, we'll get it out to PKT and have them get this thing st straightened up. Um, won't get a ride in it this year, but... Uh, that's okay. Um, I started a little over three weeks ago now on my uh, trizipatide, the uh, sh shot uh, to lose weight. And um, amazingly, I haven't really changed my eating habits whatsoever. I still drink sh the sugary sweet cream in my coffee. I'm not drinking as many of them, but um, you know, I still, I still pop a peppermint for that sour sugar. You know, I still have a few of those every day, but I am losing weight. Uh, I, I almost didn't want to get on a scale for a full month, but last week I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't help myself anymore. So it was that for two full weeks, and and I was already down. They say you can lose, you should lose, um, two pounds a week, and I'm right on schedule. I've already lost four or five pounds, so we'll see how it goes. Um, well, I want to lose some weight before I get in a go-kart because I don't want to, I don't want to get in and, and not be able to breathe because I'm so fat. I want to have fun. It, these, these are supposed to be fun, and it isn't no fun when you're so fat you can't breathe. So hang in there, y'all. It'll get better. It's getting better already. Nice fall day out there. Hang in there, y'all. I'm praying for you. I am. Hang in there. We'll get this thing straightened out. See you soon.